which is I don't believe that the proponents of this bill uh, believe that there are nefarious actors out there trying to destroy people's lives. I think that what this is about is a story of unintended consequences. Um, and so let me tell you what I think is the compelling precedent for this argument, which is for uh, those of you who had to suffer through law school in, in, in the crowd, there is a case called uh, Griggs versus Duke Power, which was the seminal case under the interpretation of the disparate impact doctrine. And the disparate impact doctrine says that, under our, uh, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, says that there may be certain practices that we undertake that we didn't intentionally hope to discriminate against people with. But those practices, by their nature, have a disparate impact, a dramatically disparate impact on certain populations. So the case in, in Duke versus Griggs Power was a power company in North Carolina that had a requirement that you have a high school diploma to apply for a job at the power plant. And what they found was that that on its face was not intended to discriminate against people of color. That was not the reason they passed that statute. But what they found was that it disproportionately ruled out candidates of color who were applying to the tune of 22%, 22% more uh, African Americans were disqualified for these positions based on that test uh, than, were, than were white applicants. The Supreme Court held in this case that that was not a valid screen to use for that job because their language is, it is not shown to be significantly related to successful job performance. And so they disallowed that under the disparate impact statute in Title VII. Okay. In this situation, you have the discrepancy between African-American candidates who are likely to have low credit scores and white candidates is not 22% like Duke versus Griggs Power held, it's 21%. It is literally one percentage difference from the seminal Supreme Court finding on disparate impact that has as the requirement a high school diploma. And here we're not saying anything so substantive as a high school diploma. We're talking about a credit score which actually has no direct link to your ability to read, write, do math, or turn on a power grid. And the idea that we would believe that, so, and let me tell you though, I think Senator, Senator Renfro's point, yes, it is true that in this economy, unemployment rates among blacks and Latinos are multiple, uh, multiples higher than whites, right? So we know right now that I think it's three times higher unemployment rate in some parts of the black community than in the community at large. You know who else is disproportionately out of work right now? Folks with only a high school diploma or folks with only some high school diploma. So this is not just about race, this is about class. This is about anybody who didn't have the luxury of making it through getting a college degree or getting a law degree is now at much greater risk for, trying to, for being unemployed right now, is at much greater risk for trying to apply for a job to get back out of unemployment. And the great irony is the harder they work at it, the more jobs they apply for, the more times their credit gets run, the more their credit score drops. So what you have is actually a direct disincentive for anybody to go out and keep doing what they're trying to do, which is reapply every day for another job that runs their credit score one point lower for the next application. So I, th I don't think there's any ill will on the part of the great employers of the state. I think what you have is a situation where there is, an, there is a disparate impact from this practice that is disproportionately injuring people of color and people with less formal education. And those are the people who right now are hit hardest in this economy. So if we're going to do something in this chamber to make sure that the least of us have a chance to get back up on their feet right now, I think we ought to at least not take their legs out from under them while they're trying to stand up. I'd ask for a yes vote on this.